So I so often talk about how nefarious uh, it is that the Democrats are participating in this open borders policy, allowing millions upon millions of illegal, unvetted strangers into the interiors of the country for so many reasons. And one of them that I am trying to sound the alarm on is you may think that it can't change elections if illegal immigrants simply cannot vote. Now, I'd also add they can in some places in local elections, but federally people say, oh, well, they're not allowed to vote. Don't don't you be spreading conspiracy theories. They can't vote. Therefore, everything is fine. Well, no, no, because then they're included in the census that is taken later on down the road. And then oh, what happens? Oh, all of these blue areas, these sanctuary cities get more and more representation in Congress and they can skew the numbers in that way. So I want to talk to someone who is uh, who's fighting back against that. Welcome to the program, Congressman Warren Davidson from Ohio, who is uh, co-leading legislation to, in fact, fight back against that. So, Congressman, thank you so much for joining me. Tell me about the Equal Representation Act. Yeah, so this is legislation that creates a law uh, to re require the census to count U.S. citizens uh, and then only use the count of U.S. citizens when doing the apportionment of representation. Uh, so it builds on uh, a constitutional amendment that I had introduced in 2017 because what's happening is, you know, just as Donald Trump went to court to try to make sure that this happened the right way, people say, well, why did he do that? Well, we have 20 extra members of Congress who are represented by Democrats because states like California have like seven extra members of Congress mm -hmm. and not just anywhere randomly. They have them in sanctuary cities. That's where they draw all the illegal population into. And that overstates the population in these cities. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I was just talking about um, the the left always complaining about threats to democracy. Everything that they don't like is it's a, a threat to democracy. And it's just it's so fascinating to me that they seem to not care about when you're talking about. Again, I would say we don't have a democracy, but let's just pretend that that we do. We'll play semantics with them. OK, you have a democracy. What do you think is going to happen when it gets exploited and loopholes are being used to game the system? You would think that people who claim to care so much about their beloved democracy would care about something like that. And yet the left just turns a blind eye to it. Well, they're not really turning a blind eye to it. They're designing these policies on purpose. You're right. You know, they're not accidentally getting this outcome. Uh, they don't like the policy in spite of the outcome. They like the policy because of the outcome. There are members of Congress who have said, yeah, we need population coming into my city. Why? Because eventually they wise up and move out. You know, California is the most left state in the country, not just politically, but people wise up to what's going on there and they leave. So uh, they need non-citizens to come in. And, you know, whenever we try to say, oh, you should only count citizens, you know, they act like somehow that's abhorrent. Well, show me where you would travel and you would expect some member of parliament in, you know, Britain or Ireland or somewhere to be representing you. Every foreigner does have representation in America. It's at an embassy or a consulate. That's your representative if you're not an American. And if you're an American, yeah, you should be represented by someone in Congress. And that you can't do unless you do the census the right way. Yeah. Yeah. So is this um, will this be heard on the floor? Where Where is it in, in the process? Well, so uh, the constitutional amendment wasn't getting traction. And so Henry, Senator Haggerty over in the Senate wanted to do uh, a, a legislation. And so, um, you know, Senator uh Congressman Edwards and I, new member of Congress from North Carolina, introduced this in the House. Senator Haggerty already forced a vote in the Senate as part of the appropriations bill that passed, and only 32 senators voted for it. Unfortunately, all the Democrats, actually, I stand corrected, all the, there, were, there were some Republicans who weren't there to vote for it. All the Democrats voted against it. All the Republicans present voted for it. Okay. And we need that recorded vote in the House. Uh, and so spe uh, Speaker of the House talked with uh, the, the House Majority Leader, Steve Scalise. Scalise schedules the floor and they're planning to have a vote on this this year. Yeah, that is something that um, we need much more of when it comes to not just this issue, but so many is just like, give me the record. I want all of you guys in D.C. on record on whether or not you think that this is a reasonable action, because anyone, 
anyone who cares a lick about this country and the foundations upon which we were created could not argue that this is beyond like it's like this is such a common sense, reasonable bill. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on, you know you do. Click here.